Welcome to Adam Does Movies Presents, Movies with My Black Friend. I'm Adam Olinger. And I am DJ Bless, Adam's black friend. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're not watching on video and we have to specify. Basically. Today, uh, as you know, the holidays are right around the corner. I can't wait. I have my food ready to go and cocaine ready. Okay, beautiful. Yes, amazing. S- nice spread for the whole family. Hey, let me tell you something, man. You gotta let things be what it's gonna be. We got one in every family. <laughs> well, we uh, briefly discussed before this that uh, we watch Christmas movies this time of the year. I guess you could do Hanukkah movies, but I don't really know many of them outside of, what is the Adam Sandler one? How about Fiddler on the Roof? Eight Crazy Nights? No, Eight F- Fiddler on the Roof. I didn't watch that. Really? Never I had to that. do a project on that. Yuck. I don't think it's a Christmas movie, though. That's only... <laughs> that's what about, what that's... about uh, Lord of the Flies? <laughs> that's an amazing movie. It is, it's that's a great a real... book. I've never seen the book. I've never seen the fucking book. Yeah. You know I've read, the saying? book is fantastic. <laughs> I've never yeah, seen, I've never the, seen book. the book. Uh, I watched Fiddler on the Roof for Christmas. <laughs> it's so I'm roof. completely all over. Well, I've put down a list of different Christmas movies. And as I said, we, we discussed this prior. You say you don't watch a lot of holiday films that you never really have. You know what it was? Growing up, I really didn't watch a lot of that stuff. I watched more horror movies uh, all year round or just straight up like action movies like some John claude or oh, some that, yeah. Steven, you know. Or some s- Seagal. Some Seagal. You know, I had some Seagal here and there. Um, or what else I would have watched? Like RoboCop. But your parents didn't like sit you down and were like, hey, we're watching Rudolph or Frosty. Fuck no. No? Hell no. <laughs> Pretty hands off or what? Uh, this was, I don't think they was really into it either. They weren't into it. I think around that time the Bodyguard soundtrack came out. So we was watching, listen to a lot of Bodyguard soundtrack. Yeah. That's what I remember the most of the time. And uh, what's the other one? Bodyguard's uh, a great movie. It's a fucking, I don't know about the movie. The soundtrack's amazing. Oh, mo- you've never seen the movie? Yeah, I've seen the movie. Okay. But it just, it it's been really, a while. It didn't yeah. touch me as much as. Well, we're going to go see. Uh, yeah, the new, uh, the new Dance Houston. with Somebody or I'm whatever it's called. I don't know what sure it's called. sure they're going to talk about the bodyguard and that shit. I think that's the actress from SNL. That plays Yeah, her. it is. I think it kinda is. Kind of out of nowhere. Is she oh, doing the singing or are they just straight lip singing? It sounded like it was lip sync, bro. That's okay. all lip sync. There's no way they got Whitney's uh, vocals like that. No. Hell no. That's like making a Mariah Carey movie. Basically. I don't know who good could, who could do luck. it. You know? yeah, good luck. Her well, she made her amazing. own movie. Uh, what was it? Uh, Glitter. Uh, Glitter. Yeah. I didn't see two, it. I, I heard two it was... people saw it. <laughs> she saw it. Yeah, two people saw that she movie. She saw it and said it was great. <laughs> her and the people who, who screened it saw it. I'm surprised she hasn't made like a Christmas film. You know, because she died. basically is Mrs. Christmas. That song she every has every year. year yeah. She's All I want for Christmas is you. Movie. There's a few of them. That they, but yeah, it's so ridiculous. That's a really good song, though. I know. It's a really, I'm, it's, I'm a sucker for that song. It gets old, yet you, you listen to it. It's kind of a staple now. Yeah. And it's like, what's the movie that came out? Um, You're going to shoot your eye out. Oh, um, A Christmas Story. That is a Christmas story musical, yeah, musically wise for the new gen- for the our generation and the new generation. It's every, yeah, it's it's cross. It's probably like three generations. Now. Yeah, I would say so because I, I don't know when it came out, but it has man. to be late eighties, early nineties. Fuck no, that thing yeah. came out in like ninety nine. Oh, we're gonna look it up. I got a computer fact in check. front of me. Mariah you know anything about the fact Carey, check? Carrie, all I want for this fucker said eighty nine. <laughs> release date. When did you say? I said about ninety nine. Yeah, you're dumbass. Ninety four. Really? 90 fucking 4. All I Want for Christmas came out in 94? 1994 of October. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, you was closer than yeah. I was. Yeah. But no, the thing about it, I thought that came out in like 2000. I think it, uh, you know, it just kept kind of getting legs over time. That song was nowhere to be found in the 90s, if I remember. Do you? I don't remember. I was too I, young. That, but I'm saying, yeah. didn't you start hearing it in, like what? After high school? I mean, it just kind of festered every year because you have to think about it. You're only only listening to it one time, yeah. In a you know a twelve month period, so Dude. over time it just kept getting stronger and stronger. I, didn't know that. I had no idea. But let's that. really let, let's break this down. So outside of Mariah Carey, I think of a couple staples. Every Christmas we got The Grinch. Have you seen The Grinch Who Stole Christmas? No. No versions of it. No. Not the Jim Carrey. Dude, I've seen none of the. Not Grinches. the OG animated. Not here the Illumination there, animated. Here and there with the animated, but no, that's more my sister. Wow. Um, yeah, that's more my, and more my, my boy Darko. That's more the original boy. Dr. Seuss film is like 20, 20 minutes long. It's like a TV movie. It's very short. Really? It's okay, too. It's kind never of fun. Seen it. So Fro- you've never seen Frosty the Snowman? No, I've never seen that. That's insane. I'm dead serial. When you told me today that this is going to be the topic, 
I was like, well, I've seen Elf. I mean, that's kind of fun that you haven't yeah. seen it because we can talk about it a little bit because Frosty the Snowman is, is not a good movie, okay? Yeah. It's fun to watch. You should watch it and react to it. I'm going to check it out. Uh, because Frosty's trash in this film. So okay, you got to give me a list before we get out of here. I mean, so first off, it, it's about a magician who's like teaching the class some tricks. No shit. And the kid's... His hat gets like blown away and it lands on a snow pile that the kids made and uh, Frosty comes to life. So there's actual magic in this hat. You know what I think about Frosty the Snowman? What's that? Uh, Young Jeezy. I don't know what that is. Really? The rapper Young Jeezy? No, I don't know. He calls himself the Snowman. He based oh. Off of, he used to sell cocaine. Okay. So they, they take the Snowman thing and they like do the whole cocaine with the Snowman. That's cute. That's beautiful. It's amazing. I have a side thing about Frosty that might be down your alley. No shit. Yeah. Is it for Alley okay? McBeal? No. Okay. Um, but it does involve horror. Ah, oh, interesting. But anyway, so Frosty again? comes to life. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's like the Pillsbury <laughs> Doughboy. <for> <laughs> uh, he comes to life and he basically like kidnaps the, the kids or the one fuck? of them. Yeah, they go on like a road trip on a train. Parents don't know any of this. And uh, he dies at the end. He melts. Is this real? Yeah. He, he melts away. I mean, he's eventually resurrected. But it's funny because when he melts, they do like a montage of all the stuff that happened. Yeah. The, the movie is like 15 minutes long. So they're like montaging something from four minutes ago. Wow. <laughs> so it's like, remember all the great times we had? And it was like <laughs> damn four minutes ago. Dude, they had a horror movie called Frost. That's where I was going. It, okay, yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. They had a horror movie I think called, it's called Frost. Is it called Jack Frost? Jack Frost. Yeah. Yes. Not to be confused with the other Jack Frost um, family movie with Michael Keaton. Really? Yeah, there's a Michael Keaton Jack Frost where the dad dies at the beginning and he, he's resurrect, he's reincarnated as a there's snowman. There's a lot of uh, Night of the Living Dead type things going on here, minus the zombie shit. It's funny because Christmas movies and a lot of the songs are kind of disturbing. They're, yeah. they're depressing music. If you listen to the lyrics on a lot of Christmas music, it's always like, I'll be home for Christmas, or all I want to do is get back for Christmas. They're very sad. So it's basically like the dead's trying to talk to you. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think we got some uh, some horror stuff going Did on Did you here. see Frosty, the uh, the scary one, or the horror one? Whatever. No, the Jack Frost? Yeah. I, I worked with a rapper called Jack Frost. He's like real famous. and um, I'm sure you've seen the scene where you like, bang. <laughs> Dude, like, he kills what's her name from American Pie in the shower. Fuck no. Sticks his carrot in her. Oh, that sounds <laughs> sexual. Yeah, well, it's supposed that to be. Very it's sexual. supposed to be because yeah, the carrot's down where his sexual. penis is. Oh, really? Yeah, that sounds real <laughs> yeah, sexual. He hugs her. No. And he, like, kills. Did Leprechaun have a Christmas one? I don't think so, but I don't know. There's like yeah. five of those movies in there. I've seen only like a half of one. Does Ernest have a Christmas? Hell He's gotta yeah. have a Christmas. He definitely has a Christmas. All right, Ernest, Ernest P. Worrell. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. yes. I've only I've only seen Ernest Scared Stupid, which I do remember liking quite a bit as a child. Is he still alive? No, he died. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, he died oh when right before Toy Story 3 came out because they had to change the voice actor. He For, was the voice, he was the voice of, of Slink, the dog. I never knew okay, that. You, you would know if you heard now. Oh, shit. Like, he talks just like, you know, Ernest. Wow, yeah. Ernest P. Worrell. He was Slink the dog, yeah. Did Pee Wee Herman ever have a Christmas special? <sighs> I'm sure he did on his show. Um, you know, I don't know. I watched the He-Man Christmas special. I think it was uh, that. That had to have been amazing. Yeah, I've watched the He-Man one. I watched the Flintstones one. Mm-hmm. Flintstones was amazing. So you kind of jumped in. You got you dipped your toe into the TV I show. Totally di- yeah. Dude, at that time period, whatever was on as a special, I would totally watch okay. it. But Did it you was see not the Star Wars Christmas special. No, but I heard about oh, it though. Man. Yeah, I heard about it though. So bad. Is it bad? Yeah, I really heard about bad. It. Yeah. B. Just... Arthur is like one of the no, main characters. Dude, I've heard about it, but I've never watched it. No, like my only go to is Elf. Yeah, we'll get to. I got Elf on the list. Oh, I mean, I mean there's not like an order to this. It's not like a top ten Christmas movies. I was just kind of like get a lay of the land for what you've actually seen. Your what list about is actually good though. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. When I was probably a kid. the most Christmas yeah, movie of all time. Yeah, I've seen that. One. That's five. a funny movie to watch now as an adult because all the people are assholes in it. No shit. Yeah, like all the adults are complete dicks. The dad's like ashamed of Rudolph. He puts some like mud on his nose to hide it. Oh, Santa's even kind of a douchebag. No shit. They, so they're shaming him. They shame him big time because yes. he's got the bright nose. This wouldn't work nowadays. No, but but Santa, Santa, it's it's great because towards the end of the movie, there's like zero visibility in the sky, mm-hmm. and so he's like, "What about that fucking weirdo with the nose? With the nose, he can oh, light the way." Him. So once he becomes useful for Santa, suddenly it's like, "Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're my friend now." You know what that's I did good. see though? That's to my new Christmas list. Hmm. Violent Night. 
That's a good movie. Fuck no, it ain't. You didn't like it? <laughs> Hell no. Oh, well, what were you expecting? Dude, that movie was horrible. What were you expecting that from it? That was horrible. What yo. were you expecting you, from I it? think you warned me about that. No, well, I went with uh, Gabby, and Gabby, I don't think, liked she it. She hated it. Yeah, but I, I mean, I thought it was fun. I watched your review before I yeah. went to go see it, too. And I, I stopped I mid-review. my review was nice. Was no, it was yeah. really fucking yeah. good. But I stopped because I didn't know if he was going to give out any spoilers. No, I didn't spoil it. Okay, yeah, so I went to go see it. And I couldn't wait to fucking leave. That's amazing. It was fucking true. It's not even that long. Dude, it was horrible. I was what did like, you not like about it? Nothing about it was good. Did oh, you know what? Can good? you spe- specify? Um, The story was trash. It was redundant as fuck. It was extremely redundant. Um, The only thing that was funny about it was the family. The family was hilarious. Which is funny because that's like the one spot I didn't really care you for. You didn't care for the family? The I family thought it was, was a little funny, overdone. Bro. and I thought of... he was overdone. Chris Kringle, Santa. Oh gosh, I thought he was completely Hopper. Overdone. Hopper, yeah. You didn't like his backstory about being like a Yo, Viking about a Viking and shit. Yeah, yeah that was funny. I, the only thing I was like, why does he have a sledgehammer for a weapon? That was like the only thing where I thought, eh. They never told, and maybe I just didn't care. They never told how he became Santa. They just said he was a Viking. Did they ever say how? Because maybe I just passed. That I part. think they did, but it's all kind of like nonsensical. Like it, it's a silly movie. It's not supposed to be taken serious at all. Well, if you're high, I would probably watch Final Night. I mean, I wasn't high and I enjoyed it, but no. I went in with the expectation it was going to be very dumb, very over the top, and very violent. And they did at least. What about the Home Alone scene? You had to like the Home Alone fine. scene. Uh, what's the name? Did a great job though. Uh, John Leguizamo. John Lig- no, see, I disagree. Really? I thought John Leguizamo was not where I wanted him to be in that movie. I, I expected. Perfect. So when you have a movie that's got a cast of colorful, over-the-top characters, and your villain is not, yeah. like, he's the only straight man in the whole thing. He was, was funny, like, though. How he hated like, Christmas? He, he had one he good line. Grinch. He had one funny line, and I mean, it was obviously a nod to Halloween. I don't know if you caught it, mm. but he's like, uh, Christmas dies tonight. Oh, you said that? Christmas dies tonight? <laughs> I thought that I mean, was good. I did see Christmas that Christmas dies tonight. No, I thought that he definitely played his role pretty damn yeah. good. He was like the Grinch. I, I just wanted him to be more... Because Liguzamo, especially back in the 90s, was yeah. very kind of a character. You know, he was very over the top. I was expecting that kind of character here. But here he was very just kind of serious. and yeah. A lot of people don't know how long John Liguzamo has been in the game. He's been doing it a long time. He's been doing it a long time. Remember he was in that one movie with Michael J. Fox? Um, the war movie, and they forced I don't him. Remember that. Yeah, they forced him to have sex with the girl. Oh like my the god, the Cambodian. Oh yeah, yeah. That was back when movies were pretty brutal, bro. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't do that now. <laughs> they wouldn't do that. Those movies back then were pretty damn brutal. It's funny because they would they would do it now, but it wouldn't be a theater release. It'd be like a Netflix movie. It probably would. They be. do a lot of like crazy shit, but they're streaming movies now. They don't. They're not like mainstream. Yeah, they're but- kind of like hidden. But the acting is so bad nowadays that yeah. you can kind of like, it won't have that same feel. Well, the writing's so bad now. Yeah, that too. It's like so over your head. Yeah, you know? well, that looked very, back then when she was, that was that was intense, bro. Okay. I saw that when I was a kid. That was very intense. Yeah. So that was John Leguizamo. He's playing a lot of movies. Okay, so I went over the staples, Go at least it. in my house. You know, uh-huh. the, the Grinches, the Frosties, the Rudolphs. Those are the ones. Charlie Brown Christmas is another one. That was actually good. Yeah, see, and I'm not I, I even like Charlie like a big, Brown. My I'm dad not, likes Charlie uh, Brown Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I went to the movies to see his last one. The and the 3D yeah, one? That I one saw was that good. One. Yeah, I saw that one. It didn't do well. Yeah, I took a girl to see that one. Um, Who is the author of The Peanuts? The penis. I know. I always say penis. The penis, <laughs> the penis. character. It's like yeah. horror. It sounds like horror. It does, yes. Yeah, you have to character. like over pronounce the peanuts. I can't remember, but his son, I'm pretty sure, is the one who did the movie. I thought it was good. Because the original, you know, creator's dead. Um I think it was Schultz. his son. Is it Schultz? I don't fucking Whatever. Know. We're movie, I think it we're was movie people. Son. Yeah, I think it was his son though. Yeah, anyway, I thought it was really good. It was cute, charming. It, it did a good job of like playing homage to the original, but also kind of having a more modern take. Did you see it in the movies or home? I saw it in the theater. Oh, me too. Okay, yeah. good. And okay. we think we own it. We, we bought it. Oh, you bought Our it? Our kids loved it. No yeah. shit. Yeah, you have was... DVDs though? No, it's on. we own it on like Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. I was about to say. We do have a DVD player somewhere. I used to have a shit ton of DVDs. I mean, we have a Blu-ray player. It's in our PlayStation 4. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But I can't tell you the last time I like put a video in. When the hell? Do people still buy Blu-rays? Mm-mm. If you go to Best they do as a collector. So now how people collect uh, records mm-hmm. is kind of like where it's at for CDs I and DVDs. It be- it's become like a niche boutique yeah. thing. I follow a site on my Instagram and uh, that's all they do is do boutique like stuff like that. It's funny. Yeah, they spend a lot. I mean, because the, there's companies now that make like really high res art mm-hmm. for the DVDs. They now the art. Now that's tight. I would yeah. collect it for the art. Yeah. The art is really, really damn good. 
I kind of like had a chip on my shoulder with Blu-rays and stuff because I would collect them mm-hmm. for a while. But it, it was like every fucking time there'd be no consistency. So a movie would come out with like a Harry Potter movie and then like four movies later, yeah. the, the spine wouldn't be lined up with the other ones oh, wow. or the art changed. It's like it doesn't look good on yeah. the shelf or there'd be different sizes of the, I know the what cases. It's like, what am I doing here? This, yeah. If it doesn't like visually look appealing, there's it's inconvenient. Yeah, I used to have my whole living room full of uh, DVDs, man. Yeah. People just come to my house and be like, you have a video store in here. I know. Now yeah. it's sadly like over there in a closet. There's Basically. My DVDs are all piled up. I also have my Asian collection. That's like the only thing that came. I mean, came, oh gosh. That's the, only, that's the only stuff I still have. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, um, the other big one I have on here, well, I said the Grinch. You didn't see Jim Carrey's Grinch? No. That's amazing to me. You I like Jim Carrey. That. I love Jim Carrey. I don't like that movie. Uh, a I lot of people, a lot of people love that movie. I'm just not a fan. Ron yeah. Howard directed. Ron Howard did one good movie in his lifetime to me. And I disagree, but I'm not. But I feel like we're probably on the same page with Ron Howard. What's the movie? The one, uh, the Brilliant Mind. A Beautiful Mind. A Beautiful Mind. That's a good movie. It's fucking amazing. Book's better movie. though, but it's. I mean, you can it's say a that book about, about that. Yeah, you yeah, can say that about that. everything. You don't like Apollo 13? Oh, Apollo 13 was good. I saw that in the movie. That go. was actually That's really Ron good. Howard. That was Ron Howard. Ron Howard is the most inconsistent director, <laughs> and he has no style. What was like, his name back in the days? Uh, on oh, the, on, from um, from the show, Happy yeah, Days. Happy Days. Yeah, I can't Opie. remember. Is that it what was, it was? It was Opie. Yeah, Opie. He um he's directed some really good stuff, but then he'll he'll do some really shitty things, like that Ferrari movie with um, Chris Hemsworth that no one saw. He did that. Yep. Oh, and then shit. he did the Moby Dick film yeah, that no one saw. Did, I didn't even know he did that. I think he did the, um, what's the trilogy of books? The Da Vinci Code. I think he does those as well. He did that? Don't, that might not be true. I've only seen the first one. But then, yeah, he's done some really good stuff as well. Like Apollo 13, A Beautiful Mind. A Beautiful Mind. Really There's a couple really others I know he's done that are great. But you look at certain directors like uh, Scorsese. You can yeah. just tell the look of his films. Yeah. Very classy. Plus the soundtracks and the his, scores. His, a lot of the same actors. Yeah. A lot of the same, uh, you know, very, very like crisp visuals. It's got like a, a theme and a tone to it. You look at like a Michael Bay movie, you know, right yeah. away. I hate the, Michael Bay. Well, yeah, but you know his yeah, movies. I know what you're saying. Explosions, like yeah. dick shots, spinning in circles. A lot of product placement. Everyone's sweaty all the time in Have his you movies. You notice that? They're always like they're sweaty. Fucking... Cambodia somewhere. Yeah, but yeah. Ron Howard has no no style. Like nobody knows. He's what like, <laughs> what's popular right now? Yeah. I'll do that. So he's kind of hacky, in my opinion. He's but, like um, the Jermaine Dupri of uh, movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. Like, he hasn't. Wow, had a style what, a, what a callback. Yeah. Okay, let's get into some movies I know you've seen. Uh, some unconventional Christmas movies. There's a lot of debate. Die Hard. Where do you stand on this? Christmas I think movie Die Hard is amazing. Christmas but... movie. I would say it's a Christmas I movie. I think so, yeah, too. Yeah, I'll definitely say it. Wasn't one and two around Christmas time? They're both on Christmas. I think I told you that my cousin lied to me. I thought they was a day apart. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I thought that I thought that part one was one day, and then he just took a break the next day, and then it happened again. And then it happened again. It happened again. So it was like Christmas Eve and yeah. Christmas Day. And it happened right again. I was like, that's the next day he went through all that? It honestly would have been kind of funny if it yeah, was the next day. Like, what I really, are the odds? Yeah. Like, he went through all that again and stuff. Like, what is the odds of that? What do you think of Die Hard 2? I remember it vaguely. I remember Die Hard 1 way more than Die Hard 1. Die Hard 1 is honestly one of my favorite action movies of all yeah. time. Top 10 still. But Die Hard 2 is very vague. That's when he was on the plane, right? hmm Yeah, it was all right. It was cool. And so I think 1 is just really good, though. Yeah, Die Hard 2, to me, is... Um, it's fine. Remember Passion it's 57? Possible. Yeah. Wesley Snipes? Yeah. It's a good flick. You think so? I don't think it holds up, but it, uh-huh. it was good at the time. But there were so many of those 90s yeah. kind of um, Me Too Die Hard films. Under, no, not Under Siege. There was one. There was one with um, with Kurt Russell and Steven Seagal was in it too. Yeah, executive decision. Executive decision. Where they kill Seagal yes. in the first scene of the movie. Who would have ever thought that was amazing? And that was yeah. like Seagal in his prime. Yes, that was. Who ever thought that? That's a good movie though. Executive it's a really decision. good damn you movie. Air Force One. Air Force One. If we're good. doing plane movies, yeah, Air Force you know, One Snakes is good. on a Plane, of course. Samuel I've never seen Snakes on a Plane. It's yeah, good. it was never on my list. No, no, that definitely wasn't on the my list. um. Yeah, but Die Hard 1 and 2, very solid. Die Hard 1's amazing. Die Hard 2 is passable. But then 3 is actually freaking great again. Fuck, what year 3 came out? Uh, that would be, what well, would have been mid-90s, I would say. Like 97, you think? Mm, yeah, around that. Yeah, I was out by then. It was originally perp- re- it was repurposed uh-huh. from a Lethal Weapon movie. It was originally supposed to be Lethal Weapon 4. Would you say Lethal Weapon's a Christmas movie, part 1? I believe it has Christmas, like a Christmas time frame yeah. at some point but uh-huh. i don't think the whole thing is on christmas it's just got a section 
Yeah, I think whereas Die Hard really, it really embraces the Christmas stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he writes ho 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 on a guy's shirt. Okay, yeah, if you um, go that route, then yeah, no, lethal weapon definitely dresses a guy up as Santa. There's there's like a lot of if you take away the Christmas aspect of Die Hard, mm -hmm. it loses some of its charm. Okay, yeah, so no, that's yeah. definitely not lethal weapon. That's man. that's how I argue it with people. No, that's it's a really like, good way of looking yeah. at it. Otherwise, it's kind of more a generic action movie. With an amazing watch, villain. I gotta watch Die Hard again. Yeah, you I should. Definitely gotta, that's gotta be on my list this year. We watch it like every Christmas. Really? Yep. You have it? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I have it in several formats. Oh, shit. <laughs> Those ones I own on Blu-ray. Oh, okay. I might have to come over here and watch it. Yeah, absolutely. Either. Anytime. Yeah. I, I watch Die Hard. We, we do like a marathon. Every, really? All four of them. There's not, we don't count the fifth one. Oh, okay. that one's That's horrible. Horrible. <laughs> that shit's trash, bro. But a jumping off point from Die Hard 2... The director, who I, I forget his name, but I know he also directed The Long Kiss Goodnight, another Christmas staple. Really? Yep. Interesting. Gina Davis. It's a good movie. Samuel. Jackson, yeah. I Do Not Age. Jackson. Yeah. This guy's perpetually 35. Well, you know Biggie has a song called Long Kiss Goodnight. Really? Yeah, it's on the second album. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have you seen Long Kiss Goodnight? No. You should watch it. That's definitely... That's always been on my list. Now, that I agree with you on. It's really That's good. always been on my list. It's really good. Gina really Davis never had is a, chance. a badass in what it. What happened to her? I don't know. I think she kind of you know became a mom. Probably did that whole thing. Um, she just disappeared. She had a sitcom for a while. Back in like early... Two th late... You know, like 2004, I want to say. I don't think anybody watched it. Who's the dude from Jurassic Park that we just saw? Um, Chris Pratt? No, 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 no. The one who's played in all of them. Uh, it's been in all of them, but if you're talking about the original, like yeah. Alan Grant, no, the other guy, uh, the Malcolm, one, keep going. Um, How many more people? The one who played in The Fly. Yeah, well, his name is Malcolm. And okay. uh, uh, what's his what's his um, real name? Uh, uh, <laughs> I know, um, I forgot. Uh, 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 Doesn't Gina so, yeah, Jeff no. Jeff something? Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Yep. Doesn't Gina Davis look like Jeff Goldblum and and drag? Kind of. They're it in a does, movie together, right? you know. Dude, they look like brother and you know sister. They're in a movie or, like, Literally, with they Jim are? Carrey. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't she play in the fly with him? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember that, but she's in Earth Girls Are Easy. I've never it's fucking seen terrible. that. terrible. That just sounds but horrible. But it's her and then two or three aliens. One of them's Jeff Goldblum and one of them's Jim Carrey. It's like when Jim yeah, Carrey's no. first movies. Dude, I don't. You can't see them. They're in like, they're like furry. Yeah. And it's so bad. That sounds bad. Yeah, really bad. But that she's also really in bad. A League of Their Own, which is fantastic. That's a really good Great movie. Great movie. Yeah, my sister cried when we watched oh, that it's movie. A, my kids just saw it last year and they loved it. Yeah, a, yeah. Plus at the end when they show them getting old. Yeah. Spoiler. Yeah, when you show them getting old, that was definitely heartbreaking. They actually redid the uh, the series now. Oh, yeah, there's a show. I'm not watching no, that nobody's shit, watching. Nobody's sticking, watching yeah, that I'm shit. I'm not watching that. You just watched the movie. Ex Thank you. You got, ma you got <laughs> like, Madonna why? in there. It's a cl you yeah. have uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell in her Rosie prime. Yeah, like, uh, Tom comedian. Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is in it. We don't yeah. cry in baseball. Yeah. And then the girl that I don't think anybody's ever liked, the actress that plays her sister. Yeah, she... Hit put, or whatever. Yeah, but she plays in another movie, too. She's Tank she Girl. Tank Girl. She's yeah, I hate. Girl. I do not like that actress. I've never even seen the movie. Can't stand that actress, and I don't think she ever really did anything after that. She's more like, if I had to put it, she's like punk meets Trailer Park around that era. <laughs> <laughs> like, like seriously, bro. Like, like the yeah. girls on the block that you know you can bang out. She's like. the female version of Polly Shore to me. Yes. I don't get it. I don't I want it. Stop yeah. selling it. Yeah, Paul Shore still does movies too, which is weird. That's bizarre. Yeah, I've never seen him as. He strikes me as a guy that would just weasel. Oh, his name, name, no pun intended. Yeah, weasel his way into like any sort of industry that he could to make. Like he's probably selling Bitcoin. Well, you know who his mom owned uh, the comedy shop. I or, knew he came from like wealth. Yeah, his yeah, mom. He didn't like make it in the industry. Exactly. On his own. It was more of a. It was you more could tell. Of a, uh, yeah, my mom hooked me up type thing with him. His best movie is um, Encino Man. Encino Man's good. No, it's not. I was going to say Son-in-Law. I've never seen Son-in-Law. Because Kelly Kapowski's in there. And that's She's really... She's fucking yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I've seen Encino Man on bootleg. I bought it off of Jamaica Avenue. Okay. It was a cam version. So you need to watch The Long Kiss Goodnight. I'll check. Now that I want to watch. And then maybe you should watch Die Hard 3 because it's also got Samuel L. Jackson okay. and it's fantastic. I'll check those out. Uh, okay, we got... Let's do another unconventional Gremlins. I know you've seen Gremlins. Gremlins is amazing. Gremlins yeah, is great. Also based around Christmas. Yeah. Also adds to the mystique, the allure. Uh, it's just kind of a fun-ass movie. You want to hear a fun fact? I love it. I loved you. Okay. I saw Gremlins 2 and Rocky 5 the same day in the movie theater. They came out the same time? Yep. Look it up. I saw it the same day. Uh, Sunrise Movie Theater. Um, oh, Gremlins 2. Gremlins yeah, 2, yeah. yeah. Okay. That yeah. makes sense. I think we were... Um, 
I remember my dad took my brother and I to and see we, Gremlins too. Yeah, we really wanted to see Die Hard Five, or my dad did. That was five. Five came out around that time. I'm not no. sorry, not five. What's on three? Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and they didn't have the like right show time or whatever because my oh. dad was like very. Probably like you, where he's just mm-hmm. like on a whim, will do That's, shit. Do you know me? Yeah. So People complain like, about that. Like yeah. My friends, you probably are yeah. one of them too. Oh, I bitch all the time. Yeah. <laughs> bless. <laughs> God damn bless. Always on a whim. But uh, yeah, we were going by like a mall. Yeah. And back then, theaters were in malls. That's, basically. Yeah. That was and, a fun day. That's exactly yeah, that what I was going to see. Yeah. Mon- and, I saw uh, the same thing. It was at a mall. Yep. Yeah. I saw that sunrise. Uh, so we saw it was playing there. We, yeah, we just jumped in. I saw Rocky Five. I saw Gremlins first, and then later at night, I saw Rocky Five. Okay. Rocky Five was horrible. Gremlins was amazing. Yeah, it, yeah. it is. Yeah, Gremlins is great. Um, Christmas Vacation. Oh, that's a really good Chevy one. Chase. Yeah, with in the his whole prime. with the whole ball of uh of uh lights. He tells the guy yes. to, go, to undo them. Oh my <laughs> god! Fucking lights. He's you got you got Elaine in there. Julia Louise Dreyfus yeah. as the neighbor, just a total Karen bitch. It's hilarious. Did it ever bother you? As a kid watching those and see how they change the kid actors all the time, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that would it, it never stay consistent with that. Christmas Vacation was the first one I saw when I was really a, well, I was a kid, and then Dude, I saw the first ones, the European Vacation, oh, no, just Vacation, and then European, and then European, vacation? and then Christmas, and then, and then, Chris- then Vegas. Yeah. I didn't see Vegas. I Vegas stopped at Christmas. Is, eh, it's okay. It's got parts. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. The first two are the best ones. No, Christmas is easy. Have the you best seen one. European? Yes. It's yes. amazing. I don't think Vacation's very good. Are you serious? We just watched it two nights Dude, ago. Dude, the just peeing on the sandwich it. when he's dancing? There's, there's the moments sandwich. that are really funny, but then there's like long no, drags of just kind of nothing happening. I gotta watch happening. it again to see if it stands it up. It doesn't stand up. No, We just man. watched it. I gotta watch that, Christmas dude. is non-stop, though. There's so many good <laughs> lines. There's so Bro. many good um, references to movies and... Uh, you know, you have like the fast, <laughs> fast times at Ridgemont High when she's getting out of the pool. Yeah, but dude, I'm laughing at. Him. Remember, he was on the highway in the first one, and the girl yeah, was yeah. driving. He saw us put that button. And shut. Oh yeah, that's hilarious. Yo, that is so funny. Well, and how man. many, how many movies have parodied that scene? Oh, it's I been agree, done in like man. everything. The Simpsons, <laughs> Rat Race. Yeah. Plus, when he's dancing, his wife is like, "Oh my gosh, the dogs just pissed on his yeah. sandwiches." I do not like that movie. That movie's hilarious. But Christmas Vacation has um it's got Eddie in his prime. Yeah. He's he's pumping his sewage waste into this. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, well, I gotta watch Chev, that Chevy's got like the coffee in the morning. He's like, Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, no creatures stirring except one asshole in his bathrobe yeah. pumping his waste. <laughs> the chevy man i saw him pop up on instagram uh, I the think other he's day kinda, he kind of like went down the like i'm a total asshole route he was a conspiracy theorist at the time no what? i just think he was kind of i think a One lot of, of those did. snl alum dudes from yeah. the 80s were kind of are, are like kind of pompous and better than everyone saying. and yeah i mean i think bill murray heard like that too but whatever it's mm-hmm. just he he didn't he doesn't play nicely with people mm. One of them became a conspiracy theorist heavy well, that's, I forgot who that that's was. The, the other Randy. That Randy, is Randy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I Randy thought it was. It's Randy Quaid. Yeah, he's, in, he's yeah, insane. He, he went crazy. He's yeah, he went blown nuts. Insane. Yeah, he's yeah. like full QAnon. Yeah, that was who I thought it was. I was like, one yeah. of them went crazy. I forgot which one it was. Yeah, Randy Quaid. Yeah, the, he had um, a brother too. Yeah, Dennis, Dennis Quaid. Yeah, well, I don't know if they're related. I just know there's two Quaids in Hollywood. No, they're definitely brothers. They, okay. Yeah, but I wonder what happened to Dennis Quaid. Uh, Dennis Quaid just married like a 20 something year old. Oh, shit. It's not my <laughs> She's not that young, but he's like 45 years older than her. Yeah. It's pretty creepy. That's crazy. Yo. The, um, he's still doing stuff. He's in like a TV show now. I he's in that. like kind of like a Yellowstone ripoff, I think. Really? Yeah. The uh, Christmas Vacation, though, that's every year we watch I'm gonna that watch movie. That. You got Everybody Loves Raymond, the mom. She's yeah. in there. Uh, tons of great actors like come and go throughout this film. Plus, you have. Um, Chevy Chase has so many good lines in the movie. Just like as the movie progresses, he just fucking unravels as it goes. He's breaking the Christmas tree. Uh-huh. The cat dies. The, yeah, it, it's great. I'm still just in shock in my head that you don't like vacation. I didn't say I didn't like I mean, vacation. But you know what I'm saying? I like, said Christmas vacation is the best. Vacation is funny though. Rewatch man. Christmas vacation. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, they're all funny. But vacation is really yeah. damn funny. Um, Another movie that I don't have on here that I just remember that we watch every few years. I don't know if you've heard of this one, but it's The Ref. No. The Ref is gold. That's like really? a very What's underrated Christmas movie. Uh, it's got Dennis Leary in it, if you remember him. Oh, man, remember that song he had, I'm an Asshole? 
No. I'm an asshole. Yo, yo. He sang a song? Dude, look That's it up cool. later on. Dennis Leary from um, Rescue Me, the yes. firefighter Den- show. From Judgment Day? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dennis yeah, Leary. I'm from asshole. Judgment Day. That's a deep cut. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. that was a decent Dude, movie. you're talking to Bless, man. Den- okay. Dennis Leary from Demolition Man? Yeah, Demolition Man, yeah. He had Dennis hilarious Leary. stand-up, too. That guy was really funny. Dude, he had a song called I'm an Asshole. Okay, you need to see The Ref. It's so good. It's uh, it's it's based on Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's Christmas. It doesn't matter. Christmas yeah. Eve night. He he breaks in with his partner to rob a house. And then he has to shack up in a house down the street to hide. Why does that sound familiar? So he hides out at Kevin Spacey's house. And I can't remember the actress's name. She's also great. But basically, it's just him dealing with these two awful people. Yeah. They're just assholes. And they're fighting the whole time. He's losing his mind. It, it's got like such funny subtle humor too like there's a part where there's a uh, a manger mm-hmm. and he he picks up the baby and he bites into it and he just goes jesus he thought it was real yeah. he thought it was a candy thing and it was baby jesus so he oh says jesus it's kind of funny you know just i gotta like, check it out I yeah you should definitely it watch it it's so funny uh a lot of people i don't think have seen that one judgment day was trash though but let's yeah yeah i guess i can't remember yeah that was trash isn't emilio estevez in that too Good question. I don't think so. Unless I'm thinking of a different movie. I'm thinking of a no. movie where there's like four or five dudes that go out to party. That's Judgment Day. And they end up in like the wrong part of the city. Yeah, that's Judgment okay, Day. Okay, then I think it has to. It might, it might be, yeah. yeah. That's Judgment Day. Klaus. Netflix came out mm. maybe five years ago. No. Highly recommend animation. If you want to weep like a baby, watch, watch Klaus. That. It's a beautiful film. I'm going to check that out, dude. Wonderful animation. Lovely story. It's a new Christmas staple in our house. Really? Yeah, it's really good. We just watched it again. Now we're at your uh, crown jewel. Elf is amazing. Me and my sister watch Elf and my mom. We watch it every single year. Matter of fact, even before I left, we're planning to watch Elf this week. Why is it amazing? Expand on that. I'll tell you straight up. It's funny as hell. Okay. Okay, extremely funny. I think it's John Favreau directed? Yeah, John Favreau did direct it. And he's in it too. Is he? Yeah, he's a doctor. Remember, he's the one who's like, yeah, this is your kid. Okay. Yeah, it's, he's it's, a doctor. I think it's been a couple of years since I've watched it. Oh, what? Dude, you should watch it this year or something. It's always on in the house, but yeah. it's like a background thing at this point where we just kind of come and go from the room. And it's like, oh, I like this scene. No, it's really good. So I watched that. Uh, the reason why I like it so much is just a really good movie. I mean, it's just really good. I mean, Will Ferrell's I, definitely, you know, he's in his fun, playful, like super energetic persona that I like him doing yeah. as opposed to his more like stick in the mud style he's been doing lately. He's been definitely weird lately. Because we just saw him again in a new Christmas classic. Fucking suck. <laughs> what I was that out, called? Let's squirt or some shit? Squirt. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was it called? Oh, it was it's another Christmas Carol yeah, type Yeah, I forgot film. the name of that shit. It was one it's of those... It's like mis- Jingle or some something. Shit. Yeah. yeah, it was a mystery movie and we oh, went to go really see it. Really bad. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, and- I walked out. But Alf, he definitely is. Plus, you got Zoe. What, what are your, what's your take on, um, not Zoe Saldana, Zoe Deschanel. I know what's about Zoe, Zoe Deschanel. Deschanel. She's yeah. bad. She Hot? looks good, too. Yeah, she looks good. She's got the nerd yeah. look to her. Yeah, yeah, she's got the, I don't do this, but next thing you know, she's like she's fucking doing the whole it. crew. Yeah. yeah. She's definitely got that and look. And she's blonde in this, which is yes. very Remember he got caught her singing, and they started singing together? That's a weird scene. I, think that, I don't I'm think that can pop now. in the shower. It's just kind of weird all around, though. Well, knowing was... how people are now, they will say that he invades her space and he shouldn't have did that. And Why was she showering there? I don't fucking know. It was, <laughs> it was a good movie, though. It was a bizarre scene. Dude, I, I saw saying, it like... twice, too, in the movies. Yeah. I mean, it's at a mall, and she's just kind of showering in some... Maybe she's homeless. ...random area. Of the... <laughs> she might be fucking homeless. <laughs> Yo, she might be homeless, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I love the scene pretty early on where he kind of redoes the whole mall area. Dude, it's with a the good Lego movie, buildings bro. and he cuts out all the snowflakes. It's a good ass movie. He's putting syrup on the pancakes. He's like, oh, my I'm God. not on the pancake, on the spaghetti. No, Put syrup on the spaghetti. You know, like the part where he says, oh, Santa's gonna be. He's like, Santa's gonna be here. Yeah, the, dude, fight, the fight with the raccoon. Oh, gosh, dude, it's hilarious. I'd say um, the only thing that doesn't work for me in the movie is the last act where. De Chanel's singing for what feels like an eternity on the stage, and that dumb kid with the dumb hat is like trying to find Santa. With okay. that stuff's like, eh, okay. I don't need Dude, that. Dude, the reason why I did that, we're gonna pause this for oh, a second. We're pausing. Bad Santa Part One. Bad Santa's great. Fucking amazing. Yeah, I totally forgot about that movie to just that, now. That's a good point. Uh, that is Billy Bob ch- Thornton. Dude, Part One. I don't know about Part Two. Part I One. Didn't see it. Me either. Yeah. I didn't see. I saw parts of it, but it was like, uh, yeah, Bad Santa's great. One you got, um, is amazing. Who's the woman in it from Gilmore Girls? Yes, 
Yo, she was trying to kind of like sex up her naughty up yeah, her act a little dude, bit. That shit is funny as hell. That movie is hilarious. Yeah. Now that I might watch tonight. That is a funny ass movie. Bad Santa. Um, I ended with the Charles Dickens Choose Your Own Adventure because there's so many of them. There's that Mickey's A Christmas cool. Carol. Have you seen the Mickey no. Christmas Carol? That's a great little animated one. The Muppets Christmas Carol. That's fucking good. Yeah. That's really good. Like narrated by what's the what's the big nosed Muppet? Gonzo. Name? Gonzo. Yeah. He he narrates yeah, it. Gonzo. And then you have Scrooge. What is Gonzo anyway? What is any? What is a Muppet? You know, a Muppet's amazing. But yeah. what is Gonzo though? They're not all. The they're not all things. You got the. You got the frog. Yeah, but you have animal. That's animal's what? an animal. Well, then there's the big lips chick. I don't is know she what a the fuck human? They are. I don't know what the hell is. But what is Gonzo though? Uh, you got know. Beaker and um... Beaker's funny. Yeah, yeah Beaker. <laughs> he's a scientist. Beaker's hilarious. Uh, and have you seen Scrooged? No. I Bill seen Murray. Scrooge. No, I know exactly what that is. Dark, right dark yeah. play. You know what? Uh, I just watched it for I the, remember the cover first time the with tea. the family. It's not that good. I don't think it came. I don't think it was that good back then. But people like really blow that movie up now. They're like Scrooge is so good. It's such a classic. It's, Dude, like, it's not looks, really very good. Who's saying it nowadays? I know. These are the same people once again. This is totally left field. Who thought Barbarian was good? Yeah. That's so fair. this is a whole different. That's fair. It's a different yes, outlook a, on life totally and movies. Totally different outlook on everything now dude so yeah you gotta watch who's saying it i just think it's like a movie like scrooged i feel like it's people our age or older that have nostalgia for stuff but don't actually remember it or didn't actually watch it you know what it is i'm glad you brought that up i yeah. think a lot of people who, who claim that something like scrooge is a classic are people who didn't even live around that time mm. and they just saw it and it's like oh my gosh they saw a so, clip on yeah, youtube this is so in, in the youtube comments yeah it's so amazing they saw a 40 second tiktok and like oh this movie's great i love this movie like, totally no. left field i know yeah. it's totally left field to this podcast shocking the whale is fucking trash i saw the trailer recently the new one <laughs> <laughs> you're basing the whole movie off of the trailer <laughs> that shit looks dog shit the whale trash, is trash. <laughs> bro i looked at the comment section and you got people quoting the lines of the people movie people are crying bro about the i'm like it's yeah. a fucking trailer like i'll i'll see it with an open mind yeah i'm hopefully gonna go you know we're hopefully, gonna go yeah, see yeah, it hopefully but it's good that was totally left field back That's to the funny. christmas thing though the whale is trash <laughs> whale is you heard trash. it here first you feel me like i was like what is this you know what's really annoying since we're left field i did a video a couple days ago saying that avatar 2 is gonna bomb i saw that yeah and it was more, and it was <laughs> mostly that. being concerned yeah. that it would bomb because i'm a huge james cameron fan i Dude. love all of his movies and i the the whole video you know, it had a it had a sexy title right yeah. avatar 2 is gonna bomb you gotta get people to watch the video but some people thought it, it was a review for the second movie, which wasn't even you. out yet, and they went off of me. And then other people on my new review, where I said I didn't like the movie, were like, yeah. well, yeah, last week you were saying yeah, it was going to bomb, but well, you were like set in the... F it's like, no, I wanted no. it to do well. Yeah, I, I love James mean. Cameron. I love Avatar 1. Um, Dude. So, yeah, it's just funny. People don't fucking pay attention or listen or whatever. Until you started mentioning James Cameron, bro, I didn't even think about him. But as soon as I started telling everybody Avatar sucks... Bro, everybody who I said it to said, James Cameron? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck did y'all even follow? Like, I never knew that many people followed him. He's, he's got, like, a perfect track record. I did not. That's yeah. what everybody said. They was like, he they does. were so shocked yeah. that out of his track record that this, they were shocked. Well, especially when he's also done two of the greatest movie sequels. Titanic? Ever. No. No. Aliens? Yes, he and, did do and Aliens. Terminator 2. And 2. Yeah, he sure did. So you figure James Cameron, an Avatar sequel. I mean, this is an easy win, right? Yeah. It's his, it's his baby. I sent you that video, too, where he was yeah. talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. Even he knows the. the you saw the, that yeah, too, even right? He knows the stories. Not yeah, great. there was no story because he just wants Yo. to get to his ocean. He wants to get to. He even says that he's like, "I'm the ocean comes first, mm -hmm. and then filmmaking second. Like obviously, dude, it was so funny. He actually said it in the interview, yeah. the, the, the podcast. He was like, um, you know, it's not a good thing to put a lot of stories in one, but you know, I just wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he gave himself up in the thing because that's what I said. There's too much stories. He said oh it's gosh. not a good story. It's not a good thing to put a lot of stories in one. But you know, I just wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah, but fuck it. I'm James fuck Cameron. It, I'm James Cameron. I, I saw a it. funny tweet about him. Um, someone was like, "How come every time I read a story about James Cameron, it always goes something like this?" I went into James Cameron's office to c criticize him about something, and he shot a harpoon gun at me. Oh shit! <laughs> so he shot like, a harpoon gun. Because Cameron doesn't give a crap. Dude, he's like you say whatever care. you want. He's like, yeah. dude, I've made the two top grossing movies of all time oh there's a quote I he said some of the greatest well he called himself the king of the world when titanic came out bro he said when they did avatar one if i'm not mistaken they told him to do something he said i made titanic 
Yeah, like yeah. he literally I'm said, sure they told I him a t- lot of yeah, things. Yeah, he said, no, he said, I yeah. made Titanic. We're going to do it this way. Yeah, there right. is such a thing though as as a good pushback. Yeah. yeah, it's good to have a person. We talked about this before. Quentin it's, Tarantino. You have to have a no man. I think Quentin Tarantino is a yeah, no man. I think yeah. that's why we have movies like the Star Wars prequels, which oh, I guess gosh. it's cool to like now. But yeah. when they came out, they were, they were not bad. well received. Yeah, and that's because George Lucas got like carte blanche to do whatever the hell he wanted. Yeah, they were bad. Nobody man. pushed back. Yeah, I thought one and two were horrible. I thought yeah. three was cool because it showed was, Darth Vader. Yeah, three was like much better, but it's yeah, still, it still was trash. It's still piggybacking yeah. off some really bad movies. I feel what you're saying. Um, but yeah, I think that's where Cameron is. It's been too long. It took him 13 or 14 years to come out with a movie. And he wanted this to be his Star Wars. It, he, he said he that He said that. Yeah. I, I, the podcast, he said that. Oh, well, I did the documentary on him years ago. And he, but he's been saying that for a long time. Like, uh, this truly is his Star Wars franchise. And well, I respect him for luck. that. But I just, I, you have to have someone rein it in. I mean, Dude, three was, hours. Yeah, and, bad, and I know man. some people are loving it. Some people are yeah. like, ride or die. That's fine. If you liked Avatar 2, great. More power to you. Did not work for me at all. No, nah, it was bad for me. I'm sorry. And I still am not convinced that it's going to do the huge numbers that people are predicting. I don't think so either. Yeah. I think it'll do great in China. They love it. But anyway, Halloween. Or Halloween. <laughs> anyway, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Mm-hmm. These are the movies that I think of every year. I'm sure, you know, Fiddler on the Roof is maybe on someone's list. Even I don't though think I don't it's think Christmas it's Christmas movie. based. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's, you know, it's on Bless's list. <laughs> uh, outside of that, I, I, do you have any others that come to mind? Or no, I man. I think I kind of hit them all. I think you definitely did hit them all. You didn't stuff. watch any Christmas. You've never seen A Crazy Nights. That was the one. That's an Adam Sandler animated movie. No. I know exactly what you're yeah, talking people about. People talk no, about that it. one being good. It always looked terrible to me. Yeah, I didn't see that. I think Adam Sandler was here to mention But that's a ha- isn't that a Hanukkah movie? Because yeah, the Eight Crazy so. Nights? Yeah. Is it. the Hanukkah and Chanukkah two different things? I have no fucking clue. Because they saw books at Barnes and Noble, and half of them said Hanukkah, and the other half said Chanukkah with a C. I have to ask my lawyer. He's Jewish. Okay. Yeah, I'll ask him. I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah, ignorant about that stuff. I don't know. About yeah. any sort of religious holiday thing. Yeah. And then Kwanzaa is something else too, right? What's Kwanzaa? I don't know. You heard Ask My Lawyer? You heard that? You know, ask My Lawyer. <laughs> ask My Lawyer. <laughs> ask My Attorney. Yeah, ask My Attorney. I have yeah. several lawsuits going right now about it. Um, oh, you were totally lost on that one. I just noticed that. So what, what are you referring Dude, to? Whoever in the comment section is going to be like, I know exactly what he's talking about. What are you talking about? Most lawyers are Jewish. Oh, nice. That's my lawyer. Oh, it's racism. Fun. It's racism. Yeah. That's You're going to hang lawyer. out with Kanye after this. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's my lawyer. <laughs> On that racist note, we, uh, we end the episode. Um, let me know in the comments people out there listening if you have any unless this is on spotify is this gonna go this is on definitely sp- going on spotify. Going spotify now and the last one's going on spotify what about too? apple music all that. apple play it's gonna be on spotify apple wherever this podcast and you're in charge you're in charge of this i'm totally in charge of this, this will happen so today. that kind of scares me no it's okay i was on cp time before but now i'm ready to i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to message you like a, no. a wife like you tell me no. because i'm trying to be responsible I'm that gonna shit like, was funny hey, he, said, bless. he said you coming over today i see something like a female <laughs> Do we have to get into it right now? Do we have to get into Bless's schedule right now? Yeah. We're doing the podcast tonight, three days later. Where the fuck are you? Dude, that's what everybody says about me too, yo. Like, whoever knows me, they're just like, well, I know how Bless is. I feel like we have this great relationship, but at any point, you're just going to ghost me and be no. gone. And you're no. like, oh, yeah, I'm in California now. And I'm like, oh, is that why it's been four years since Dude, I talked to no, you Dude, no, no. I used to watch a lot of documentaries, and it said uh, if you went to a Guns N' Roses concert, it says they'll be on sometime tonight. So it's like, <laughs> so it says nine o'clock, but it's like, no, sometime tonight they'll be on. Sometime this week. Sometime, so, yeah, they'll be on. But no, no, I'm definitely gonna edit. After you edit it, I'll uh, knock it out. Okay. And get it done. If you're watching this on YouTube, or if there's the ability to give a comment, please let us know your favorite holiday, Christmas, whatever you celebrate, movie you watch every year. Uh, like this, share it for sure. We're just getting started on here. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll do one of these sooner than later. Hell yeah, we'll make Try it happen. Try to make it weekly. I'm definitely down for that. Okay. We'll go, yeah, I'm definitely we'll go down for a for weekly that. thing. And then maybe at some point we'll even have like a day of the week that we'll put this out. That would be even better. Another thing I like about it now is that we actually have a place to record. Yeah, and this is going to keep that getting nicer. where yeah, getting better. That was where the problem for me yeah. was. Was like, damn, dude. Like, we cannot get a fucking place. We need a location. Yeah, like, so that's why I was like, because my yeah. room is so small. I didn't notice that until you came over. And you do, see how big this guy is. I'm do you like, have anything fuck. you need to, like, push or... Uh, yeah, you can check me out on Spotify, Sutter Kane. Sutter Kane. Uh, Instagram, Sutter Kane, NSD, and SutterKane.com. We'll catch you next time. Thanks. All right, peace.